everyone and welcome back to my channel You know guys, I have suddenly realized that it's been a century since I've made a mermaid doll Really, I've been in some sort of a celebrity mood lately Making all kinds of, I don't know, cartoon and film characters, famous people But I feel now that I really miss making my mermaid dolls It's not like I've made that many of them on this channel But they were for sure three or four mermaids And all of them were absolutely amazing But what is the most important, all of them them were extremely fun to work on. This is the most important for me. So that's why today we are going to make a zombie mermaid. I want to make her very special, with some special tail, with some other zombie-like body parts. So I think it's gonna be fun. Let's make a mermaid today. I know also that many of you like mermaids. I remember the comments from my previous videos. So today is an official mermaid day on Pop and Atelier channel. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course support my art here on YouTube with your like, this is very important, and also hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. So, and this being said, let's start making a zombie mermaid. So, and this is gonna be a model for this makeover. I think Laguna Blue is absolutely perfect for it. First of all, because of these fins and kind of webbing on her arms and between her fingers. Then the skin tone is absolutely perfect for a zombie mermaid. As well as her face is also super cute. I love working on Lagunas and I really think she's perfect for this project. So, let's quickly undress her, cut her hair off. Then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make this rubber head very soft then I will gently disconnect the head from the body remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the head and then I will remove her face with pure acetone yes I know it sounds like a lot but this is my regular preparation routine you know it already from my previous videos to give her this pretty hair and I really love the color of it. It's like a lilac with a gray shift that looks a little bit taupe under a certain angle. Really pretty, very special, so I think it will be good here. So now let's cover the doll's head with matching acrylics and then I will reroute her hair using my self-made rerouting tool. And it's been also a century, by the way, since I rerouted doll hair. I go for rerouted hair when I want my doll to have kind of long hair, locks or a ponytail, but mostly like long shiny hair. But all kinds of shorter hair, like bob cut, uh, I don't know, short hair cuts, pigtails, space buns, bangs, it all looks better when made out of yarn hair, because it's thinner, lighter, and it's much easier to style. 
So I know it's kind of quite frequently asked question in the comments, so this is the answer. I decide to reroute or to glue hair based on which hairstyle I'm going for. So, and meanwhile her hair is done, I want to add some glue inside of the head to keep it all in place. And while this glue is drying, it will take for sure two days, we can actually start working on her body. Because I suppose to turn this human body, or like doll human body, into a mermaid one. And I begin actually with making a hole in her rib area, and then I will install some ribs made out of thermoplastic into this hole. start working on her tail and first of all I want to cut off the lower parts of her legs and after this I will build like a carrion construction for the future tail out of warbler thermoplastic using also these upper parts of her legs. start sculpting the tail using epoxy sculpt and I want to make just the upper part of the tail like close to her hips and then also the end of the tail and the middle of the tail will be just like a bare fish bone because this is where the tail moves the most while she's swimming so that's why our zombie mermaid has lost some flesh some tissue there
let the scalp dry for 24 hours. This is how it looks so far. Everything is good. And now we can work more detailed on the visible part of the fish bone. Okay, everything looks really cool so far and now I still want to cover the tail with a layer of tissue paper to make kind of an effect of a wrinkly and rotten skin. Now I can let it dry like this, hanging somewhere in my studio. And meanwhile, we can start working on her face. I don't want her to look really mad or evil, but rather sad and kind of haunted. And also very beautiful at the same time, so this is my goal. And that's why I think I will go for green smoky eyes, blue lips, and very light blue, almost white eye color.
Okay, I think I'm done with her face for now. Let's go back to her body. Everything is already completely dry, so I can blush the top of the body to make it the same color like the face. And then I'll make the tail. Ah, and I also added paper to this hole around her ribs. made out of foam paper. I cut some holes in it, so something like this to make it look more kind of decaying. So now let's attach it to the doll's body and then I will cover it also with tissue paper to make this fins, this tail fins more wrinkly and more textured. So guys, and now let's paint the doll. I want to cover the tail with this iridescent blue paint, it will make it look like a real fish skin, it's a really pretty paint. Check it out, this is where I've ended up with this painting, I don't know, it looks already super cool, I really love it. But it still needs to be decorated and I'm going to use some silver chains to decorate the top of her tail.
this is it and now I'm going to make a couple of stars that I can use as a top to cover her breasts and I'm going to make them out of epoxy resin with an addition of some iridescent dry pigment. Here are the stars guys, I don't know, I think it looks very 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 cool, I really love the stars on her and I also added some chains to her neck and also to her wrists. So and now I think we are finally done with the body, I still want to make a headpiece for her, but first of all I am going to curl and style her hair to be able to try the headpiece on the finished hairstyle. This is how her hair looks after me styling it, pretty good I think, she looks absolutely gorgeous. So now let's add some of that blue iridescent paint to her eyelids, attach eyelashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we'll make that hat decoration. to use this seashell to make some sort of a tiara and first of all I'm going to cover the back of this seashell with a layer of resin. It will make the shell much stronger otherwise it will 100% crack once I start drilling and cutting it. Okay, done. Now let's cut off the bottom part of it. And everything looks good, nothing cracked, no damage so far to the shell, very happy about it. So I also added a pin to the back of it to be able to attach this tiara to the doll's hat. And now I want to decorate it with these beautiful gradient stones. little touch of a blue iridescent paint and we're done guys! And now we can finally take a look at the end result pictures! 
So guys, this is my finished zombie mermaid and I can tell you honestly, I really missed making mermaid dolls. There is something special about them and working on them is always so much fun. Really, I enjoyed this project from the beginning till the end. And I think my dark lady turned out pretty beautiful today. And working on this doll was also very interesting because all my previous custom Laguna Blue dolls had very sweet faces because Laguna has kind of very sweet face mold with these huge eyes, tiny nose, round cheeks. She's a super cute doll. So I really enjoyed the process of making a dark version of Laguna. She's maybe not too much zombie looking, you know, you can always go for a zombie face and stuff. But let's keep those really scary things for my Halloween specials that are coming actually quite soon. And all in all, I had really a lot of fun working on this doll saying it again her tail was fun to make her skin was fun to make the hole in her ribs making all of these things brought me a lot of joy so i hope guys i could share a little bit of my creative joy with you today so please hit the like button if you enjoyed the process or the end result of my work today and also please don't forget to share your thoughts about this project your thoughts about my work in the comments under this video so and this doll is now available for sale for eBay for three days. So check out the link in the description box under this video for more details. So and that was it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, normally in two weeks, in another big doll makeover. Love you guys. Bye.